gonna be when I grow up? And how am I gonna make my mark in history? And what are they gonna write about me when I'm gone? These are the questions that shape the way I think about what matters. But I have no guarantee of my next heartbeat. My world's too big to make a name for myself And what if no one wants to read about me when I'm gone? It seems to me that right now's the only moment that matters You know the number of my days So come paint your pictures on the canvas Want to see me, Chief? AD, yes, uh, please, come on, in. Boss, man. Well, I just wanted to review today's list with you before you head out. Oh, you know, I know in the past there's been a few, I, I don't know, brought in a little early, and I understand that can be a problem, but... And that's okay. the whole issue. Uh, now, A.D., you do understand that there are very specific reasons why the pickup order is the way it is? Absolutely, I totally understand, but I hope you understand, sir, that I have helped out the shipping department a time or two, you know, by fudging the timeline just a little bit. Well, that, that may be true. But time is very important to our clients. And in any case, it's always best to follow procedures as closely as you can. As best I can, I no problem. I mean, I'm all over it. I mean, what do we got today, for instance? How's the list look? Pretty standard list. Uh, we always try to give you the easy jobs. Uh, we got, uh, we got Quinones, we got, oh. <laughs> Let's see, we got Quinones, Walters, Hasselback, my, my, Money. A guy named Money, you know, like in the love of, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I guess I should... Uh, Be about the pickups? Big about the pickups, yeah. So, listen. Oh, and there's uh, one more thing. Yeah, what's that? This time, please, make a concerted effort to stay on task. Hey, taxing, I will go. I'll be taxing. You won't even believe it. By the way, don't I? No, thanks. Uh, I'm going to the welcome banquet, and you are... Off to work. Hey, good. Good, uh, that's great. I'll be watching. I'll be tasking. <laughs> Destination. Earth, please. Need to go to Phoenix. Oh, hold up. Make it Dallas. I gotta see a guy named Money. So come paint your pictures on the canvas in my head. Come write your wisdom on my heart. And teach me the power of a moment. Good morning, Mrs. Money. Hello, Mitzi. Good morning, Martha. Would you set an extra place for Kelly? She might be joining us this morning. Yes. Mitzi. Austin, you've got to help me think of what to say. You do feel confident about your call, right? Never more confident about anything in my life. <clears throat> okay, you be my father. <clears throat> I am your father, Kelly. Hmm. Try to look more stern and bald. Kelly, try to focus here. <clears throat> Dad. Yes, dear? I've been thinking. No. No? You haven't been thinking. That completely diminishes the impact. I mean, this is something that you don't have to think about. You just know. You're right. I do know. I'm confident. I know exactly what I'm doing. Yes, see, gutsy, unwavering. Now, now that's the Kelly I know. Okay. <clears throat> Dad. Yes, dear? I... You better sit down. <laughs> He's gonna understand if you present it to him, right? My dad. Understand. Absolutely. I, just have a little faith. Faith? I have. It's my completely closed-minded, hard-headed father, I doubt. But... But what's to doubt? I mean, this is, this is a higher calling. <laughs> right, well, you've never gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the master negotiator, John A. Money. 
A, huh? Does that stand for Austin? Always knows he's right. Whatever. <laughs> Vanessa, where's my blue tie? In the closet, dear. I'm in the closet, dear. In the plastic dry cleaner's bag next to his suits where I always leave them. Look in the dry cleaner bag next to your suits. It's right there next to the blue suit. Never mind. I found it. Another morning in paradise. Martha? A dry cleaning bag, ties go on a tie rack. But I always... That's why they call it a tie rack. Yes, sir, but I mean that... Let's that I... be specific. When you pick up the cleaning, take the ties to the closet and put them on the tie rack. And then when I need a tie, I go to the tie rack and voila, a tie. Yes, sir. Now, was I moving too fast? Let it go, John. You have your silly tie. I know that, but I was just trying... Okay. <sighs> Martha, I'm sorry. I just have a lot on my mind this morning and I don't have time for a tie hunt. Can I get you some breakfast? Please. John, honey, you have got to slow down. Where's my phone? Welcome to Money Morning Madness. This is Mandy. How may I help you? Morning, Dad. It's John Money. What? Dixon is what? Oh, no, not that. Okay, what paper? Okay, all right. Where's the paper? Martha, where's the paper? Dad, can you pick me up after dance? Mama's a hair appointment. I've got these monsters jumping at my backside and you want me to leave work early? So mom can get a haircut? I think I'll go blonde, maybe platinum. What you think, Precious? Should mama go for it? Oh, darling, you'll be the belle of the ball. <laughs> here it is, here it is. Donald Dixon to Berger Matters today, not. Martha, what is that? Breakfast? That is kibbles and bits. Do I look like a West Highland Terrier? No offense, Mitzi. What happened to, to bacon and eggs, sausage and biscuits? Now that is a real breakfast. John, remember your cholesterol. We all have to eat healthy and exercise. Healthy? I'm as healthy as a horse. I'll be here long after that tofu generation <laughs> has hit the showers. It's only that... That you love me and I appreciate that. But I promise to get back on the tofu train as soon as this storm has passed, okay? If you promise, now cross your heart. Hope to die. We want to keep you around for a while. Yeah, Dad, and you're not much to look at, but hey, you're all we've got. I love you too, sweetheart. So, Mom, is it okay if I sleep over at Morgan's tonight? I don't think so, honey. It's a school night and... Dad, tell her it's okay. I mean, you've got that PTA meeting and Morgan and I need to work on that biology. The PTA meeting? John, do you remember that you promised to speak at the meeting tonight? John, you are planning to speak, aren't you? Hello? Forget it, Mom. He's in the zone. <laughs> He's so gone. <clears throat> okay, then. I appreciate your understanding of my decision to leave you for the pool boy. Now, I know that comes as quite a shock, especially after my rendezvous with the gardener but I can no longer deny my love for the smell of chlorine. <laughs> right, Dad. Remember you said I could pierce my navel, shave my head like Brittany, and go camping with the football boys this weekend, right? First, I said I would speak to the PTA if I had time. I don't, so I won't. Next, let Mandy go to Morgan's after dance, and thank you for the heads up on the gardener. It explains that pitiful landscaping. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm going to the office. But John, you need something for breakfast. What about those monsters? I'll, I'll get a donut at the office. Dad, this means I can shave my head, pierce my navel, and spend the weekend with the football boys? Uh-huh. 30 minutes after I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that man, he is going to be the death of me. I bet he gets me first. <laughs> Dad, 
Dad, wait a sec. You're leaving early this morning. What's up? Kelly, my girl, the Mom and Mandy sitcom is live and at the breakfast table. Enter at your own risk. I was hoping to speak to you both this morning. It'll have to wait. There's trouble brewing at the office. Just give me a call later. Can I bring a friend home for dinner tonight? Friend? What friend? We've been on a couple of dates and... I'm, I'm sorry, bad timing, sweetheart. Not tonight. Dates? You said dates. You know, movies, concerts, church. What's his name? Where's he from? Austin. So is that his name or is that where he's from? His name is Austin. He's from Denver. Denver from Austin. Austin from Denver. Now Austin's the name of a city, not a person. This guy already sounds confusing. Now, what's his major? Linguistics. Ling, ling, ling what? He studies languages. Now there's a career that'll bring in the big buck. There's more to life than money, Dad. You know, you're right, Kelly. There's food, there's clothes, there's cars, there's, there's houses. But wait a minute, all of those seem to cost money. Right back where we started. He wants to work in developing countries. You know, teach them how to read and write. Okay, well, I, I wish him all the best. Dad. Uh, now, is there something more to this story than you're telling me? Are you falling for this guy? No. I mean, yes. I mean, maybe. That's not the point. So there is a point? Good. Make it, please. There's a calling on my life. A what? A calling. The Lord is calling me to the mission field. <laughs> now, hold on. To what? To work in Bible translation. Bible translation. Uh, didn't, didn't we just buy a Bible for Aunt Peggy at Christmas? They've got King James, New King James, N.I. something or other, and some kind of revised something, and they need more than that? Not that type of translation, Dad. I don't have time for Bible games. I want to be a translator in the Tater language. The Tater language? What? What is that, the language they speak in Idaho? Does it come with those little plastic packs of ketchup? Everything is a joke with you. No, not everything, but this is. Why? Why? $150,000 is why. Now I realize that $150,000 is just a pittance to someone about to save the world, but for a real human being, it's a whole lot of money. And I didn't spend it so you could run off and write the Bible in some French fry language. Dad, why can't This you... conversation is over. No, it is not. Okay, let's end it like this. If you keep this up, I won't pay your car payment, I won't pay your fancy college tuition, I won't pay your sorority bills. If you're gonna throw your life away chasing some crazy dream, don't expect me to be crazy enough to support it. You wouldn't do that. Don't try me, Kelly. Not today. Why won't you just listen? I heard every word you said. Maybe you need to listen. I don't mean listen to me. Oh, good. I mean to him. Have him get on my calendar. So, what's it going to be? Phone or water? Can't do both. You want to talk or take a bath? Look, you knew me staying home wouldn't be easy, okay? Did we know it would be impossible? We can't get by on my measly salary. Not with two kids. Something's got to give. God has never let us down, okay? We just need to keep praying. I know things are going to turn around. Yeah, pray. Wish I had your confidence. Take a look at this place. It's easy to see prayers worked good so far. So we're not rich in worldly things. God did not bring us this far just to drop us. Yeah, well now would be a good time. Not too far to fall. We are rich in what matters, okay? I've got you, I've got Caitlin, I've got Noah. God is gonna come through for us, okay? Now here, get your tie on before. Might be a good day to go tie us. <laughs>
I need a dozen donuts, pronto. Uh, sir, if you just wait your turn. My turn? I don't think so. Now, young man, if I were your mother, yeah, I... Yeah, well, you're not, are you? Hurry, everybody's in a stinking hurry. May I help you, sir? Hey, how are you? Hey, what are those? Oh, eclairs. Eclairs. I like the way that sounds, huh? They got stuff in them? Yes, sir. Custard. Custard. Yeah, I'll take an eclair. <laughs> That'll be a dollar twenty-eight. There you go. Let's see you. Here. Use your change. No, no, keep it. It's okay. But, sir, you gave me a twenty. Hey, you can't take it with you, huh? <laughs> Boy, this is a great day to be alive. <laughs> they all are, sister. They all are. All right, let's see. Uh, it's a little early. John Money. Where exactly am I going to find your John Money? Huh. That's the question, right? Oh, that's nice. Tell Mr. Money you need a raise. Think success, be a success. Beth keeps praying that I get a raise. Hasn't done much good so far. How much is that new transmission? Seven fifty. Last month's doctor bill? Uh, Three hundred and thirty dollars. Forget prayer. What you need is a mantra. Say to yourself, I deserve a race. I deserve a race. It'll create a cosmic atmosphere that will attract a race. And then, if money's in a good mood, you might have a chance. Uh, those are not the footsteps of a happy man. Forget the mantra, better luck tomorrow. Good morning, Mr. Money. How was your weekend? Uh, get Howard in the conference room immediately. Um, and you too, Ricky. Uh, plus all the files on the Dixon deal. Financials, advertising, staffing, e everything. And hold my calls. Why, yes, I did have a nice weekend. I lost my spleen, my poodle ran away with a chihuahua, and my boyfriend is in jail. Thanks for caring. The Beast is alive and is requesting an audience with you. Guess that makes you breakfast. Get me this and make me that. Blah, blah, blah. The King is requesting the P&L on the Dixon deal and wants answers like yesterday. Oh, he is in a bad mood. If he's breathing, he's in a bad mood. Wish me luck. You wanted to see me, sir? I wanted to see the status on the Dixon deal. Status? Status. It's a noun. It means, where are we? Well, sir, the reality is... You want to see me, big guy? Yes. Ricky? Ricky and I here were discussing the status of the Dixon deal. You know, in the paper this morning, it was... Oh, say no more, boss man. I saw the printed page. Oh, please. Come on, a bunch of wannabes planting some confidential poop and calling it a scoop. Who could take this Dixon deal away from us? But, uh, look, I, look, I took this home last night, burned a little midnight oil. I dare say it was worth the lack of snooze time. Check this out. Pretty good work, Richardson. You know, I think that if And we... you would be right. We can hold hands on that. Ooh, nice neckwear, big kahuna. Armini? Burberry? Uh, no, it's just... Uh, no uh, words needed, El Capitan. It's a power tie for a power guy. I can dig it. Yeah, dig it deep and step in it, please. Fret not, dino dude. Dixon is done. Some would say we should have seen it coming. And some would also say that and we should... And they would be right. But with a little smoke and mirrors, a couple of pie charts, and we're going to sail through this like a luxury liner on a clear day. More like the Titanic. Excuse me? I said gigantic. This could be gigantic. Marge, I thought I said hold my calls. Donald Dixon on one. Okay, this. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Donald, good morning. Yeah, what's a good word, Donald? Oh, no, 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 come on now, Donald. We, we, we've run the demographics on this deal. We're, we're golden, my friend. But, but we, we have pie charts, we have... Um... Pie charts? I love pie. Hello? He's, he's with us, right? 
long. Go get Phyllis with the financials. It's time to circle the wagons. Yes, sir. Watch me run. Sir, what should I do? I, I pray or something. It's always effective. Pray? Uh, dear Lord, I know Beth says you went. Ricky, what are you doing? Praying? I was kidding. Get up off your knees. <laughs> just, just kidding. Of course I knew that. Ooh, bad call. Yes, I'm going there, Rick. So, what do you want me to do? Go get donuts. Donuts? Circular pastries, deep fried in grease. Yes, sir, I'm aware. <laughs> good, good. Go get some. Finally, somebody's making a good decision. Hey, hey, grab me an eclair, Ricky. I'm so dead here. Soon and very soon. Idiots. I'm surrounded by idiots. Well, yes, you are, and a fine example you are to all of them, sir. So, uh, shall we? Oh, wait, this could be fun to watch. Our ship is sinking. We're taking on water. Does anyone have a plan? Uh, Mr. Money, No I... more smoke and mirrors, Howard. No more pie charts. Mr. Money, if I may. Please. Well, sir, to the untrained eye. I could care less about the untrained eye. What I need is someone with 2020 to shed some light on this train wreck. All right, sustenance. <laughs> Oh, no eclairs. Bummer. After you're through with the buffet, maybe one of you can offer up a plan? Chocolate covered. I'm dying here. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> Open his eyes so I can shut them. What the? Did you see that? Who are you and how did you get in here? Phyllis, sir. Phyllis Tompkins from accounting. I came in with Howard. Not you, you idiot. Him. You know, for a big shot, you're a lot more powder than punch. Howard, remove this idiot. Yes, sir. Which idiot, sir? They can't see me. What do you mean they can't see you? Who can see this man? This is between you and me. I'm thinking maybe they should move along. No, no, no. The only one going is you. Howard, please. Sir? You're telling me that you don't see the man standing behind Ricky. Behind Ricky? Loud Hawaiian shirt. Loud? What is loud about this shirt? T does it make me look fat? <sighs> he just blew you a kiss, Howard. You had to see that. <laughs> Sir, I think maybe this Dixon deal is starting to get to you. Maybe we... Hey, maybe you should shut up and move this idiot out of here. You're digging quite a hole here, sport. The only idiot they see is you. You know, maybe you should send the prisoners back to their dungeon. You and me, we need a little, uh, little quality time. I don't have any time. Here you go, a little. Okay, I'll make it simple. Who are you and who are you with? Ricky, sir. Ricky, you know, Ricky Jenkins. Not you, you moron. Him. Him who? You know, you're really starting to look like a doofus. A doofus? Who are you calling a doofus? No one. No, sir. No doofus. OK, okay that, that's it. Every, everybody out. So you've gone deaf as well as blind? I said out. Mr. Money, I really think Not that... now, Howard. Learn to think on your own time, Howie. Whew. Whew. You wear me out. Is everything this tough with you? That's it. I've gone nuts. This is the biggest disaster day in my history, and I'm talking to someone that no one else can see. Next thing you know, I'll, I'll be in a home, I'll have a blanket over my knees, and I'll be muttering to myself. You know, this doesn't have to be this hard. 
What is this? Wow, no clue have you. All right. This is all about you. Y-O-U. Let's, let's just call it the sum of your collected parts. Who are you? All right, enough about you. Let's talk about me. I'm a little more complicated than that. I'm known by many names. The man at the end of the road, Dr. Doom, the crossing guard, Captain Sunshine, the great reckoner. But the name I hate the most, it, well, it's the name they always call me, and it, I, I hate it. The Grim Reaper. Yeah, OK, yeah, that's the name. You are the Grim Reaper. Ah, sure, John, go with the obvious. But go find something good about the name, can you? I mean, first name, Grim. That's going to get you on everybody's guest list. Oh, I know. Let's have Grim over. He's always good for a few laughs. I got to tell you, John, Grim Reaper, not my idea of coolness. I mean, what's wrong with my given name? And that would be Angel of Death. Isn't that nice? <sighs> Listen to that again. Angel of Death. I mean, Angel, that's a good thing, right? I mean, it takes the sting out of that dying part, huh? No. Ah. Well, if that's a problem, you can call me Lucky. Lucky? Yeah, I like it. Why Lucky? Why not? Uh, th no, this, this isn't happening. Marge. The phone, phone's dead, John. There's really no need to go to the door. Dead bolt. Forget about it. This. Contract expired. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, call it a gift. No, I mean, I don't understand this whole thing. Like, why me? Why now? You know, I'm with you on that, John. This whole Dixon deal is even starting to make sense I to could, me. I could care less about the Dixon deal. I mean, come on, I, I have plans. I, I have a wife. I have a family. We, we have memories to make. We have places to go. I don't even remember if I told them that I loved them this morning. Well, that's a bummer. Still dead. Need to focus on good energy. This isn't happening. I just because I skipped breakfast. When I opened my eyes. Hi there. Hey, what are these? You scared the life out of me. It's my job. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what are these? No, 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 look, there's some kind of a goof here. Yeah, his name is John Money. Now, do I look dead to you? No, not quite yet, no. And you know why? It's because I'm not dead. First of all... You're too young. Exactly. You got too much to do. Absolutely. First of all, John, you're never too young, and everything that needs to be done, it's done. So, so that's just it. You swoop down here, you eat my truffles. These are truffles. And then you just carry me off to paradise and I get no vote? You want to vote? Sure. I think I deserve one. All right, vote. I should live. You should die. Oh, a tie. Let's go to the tiebreaker. You made the list. You're dead. Let's go. So that's just it. I just get up and follow you to paradise. Well, to, to the gate, anyhow. Gate? What, what gate? The pearly ones. Cloud cover, long lines, bunch of smiling people, a couple of frowns in the line, too, you know. But then heaven. Hell? Not for me to say. That's a question for shipping. Shipping? Receiving and processing, that's me. So you don't know? Not a clue. Your life tells that tale, John. You ready? No! I need to know. It's a little late for that, John. The travel plans have been made. The ticket's punched. You get to the gate. You take a ride one way or another. A ride? John, your travel plans, reservations, all taken care of. You lived your life. You made your choices. Now we see. I thought I killed that. Hello? It's for you. You can run, but you cannot hide. Yo, Lucky here. Yeah, I was here right now. I, right, I, I realized that. I noticed we took. You know what I need to know more than anything is a parameter. 6, 12, 18, hello. All right, you wear the suit. You make the call. Man. Some people can make eternity seem like forever. I'm ready. But first we do the show, right? Show? There's a show? My life flashes before my eyes. Okay, I'm ready. 
Oh, John, there's no show. You know, everybody wants this big Technicolor presentation. Show me when I was four. That was a really good year. And at 17, I met up with Myrtle. Oh, she changed my world. John, there's no show. There's no show. You lived the life, John. You didn't make a movie. You want to remember? Remember on your own time. Of which I have none. Oh, you got a little. What? The call. You mean? I mean. So I'm not? You are. I'm still dying. Yeah, just not today. Well, that's great. Tomorrow. That's not so great. But hey, you got 24. 24? A day. I mean, hey, I was in the neighborhood. I figured I'd cut down on a little fly time, right? Get you in a little early. But the guys at the gate lately, I don't know. They're all backlogged. And anyhow, your DOD is really 0948 Tuesday. So I got to fly. So I'm still going... Well, yeah, but hey, you still got a day. But, but what do I do? Again, with the questions, I got no answers for you, sport. I, I tell you what, why not make it a day to remember? Oh, hey, John, there is one thing you can do. Yeah? Get some more of these. Truffles. These are very nice. <laughs> See me, Mr. Money? Yeah, come in, Phyllis. Please, uh, have a seat. You know, Mr. Money, I have an idea on the Dixon deal. If you look at the gross operating expenses from last year, the numbers, um, you see, I'm convinced that if we turn from operating full time and focus on the tourist season, we can no doubt impact the Dixon bottom line. Phyllis, do you like me? Excuse me? Do you like me? Um, sure. I mean, um... What do you think about me? Uh, well, now, um, that's a tough one. Uh, I mean, it's hard sometimes to uh, verbalize correctly what I feel as it relates to the use of the word think. I mean, uh, sometimes we think we know how we feel. I mean, uh, what do you mean when you say think? If someone were to say to you, tell me about John Money, what would you say? Oh, that. Well, um... He's a good man. Oh, okay. A good friend? Sure. He's a good businessman. We have a winner, dead on. Yes, sir, a good businessman. Now that is what you are. I would have no trouble going along with that. A man bound for heaven when he dies? Um, well, okay, I guess. I mean, uh, why not? Exactly. Why, why not? I'm a good guy. It's not like I, I beat my wife or cheat on my taxes or... Well, I, I don't beat my wife. Thank you, Phyllis. I'm, I'm humbled by your words. Of course. So, uh, is that all? You're, you're a true friend, Phyllis. Thank you, sir. Why not? I'm a good guy. I realize it looked a little rough earlier, sir, but I really feel that if we take a look at the demographics, we can be on our way to understanding this Dixon dilemma. How long have you worked for me, son? Five and a half years, sir. Do you like your job? Oh, yes, sir. Love my job. And you about married? That, yeah. Kids? I've got two. Me too. I have two girls. Tell me something, Ricky. How much do I pay you? 32.5, sir. Call me Scrooge. Excuse me? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, you have a house? Hope to, someday. Got an apartment. What kind of car do you drive? A 1978 VW microbus. Hmm. It runs. Uh, give me your keys. Pardon me? Your keys. Can I see them? What's this? It's your new car. No, these are the keys to your Mercedes. It's your Mercedes. 
My Mercedes? It's rated high in safety features, and that's important for a family man such as yourself. We'll just call it a trade. More like a miracle. Are you okay, sir? Oh, yes, yes. You see, this is the type of thing that good people do. I don't know what to say. Well, thanks is always nice. <laughs> thanks. Enough said. Tell me something, Ricky. Anything. Do you believe in God? Do now. <laughs> but seriously, do you believe in things like heaven? Sure. You think you'll go there? I'm pretty close right now. <laughs> and good people are the ones who go to heaven. Yeah, good people. Well, that seems to be the consensus. But what about me? What? You? In heaven. <laughs> Come on. A generous guy like you. As they say, God loves everyone. Well, well thank you, Ricky. Hey, did you get a raise? Not exactly. But I did get his Mercedes. His Mercedes? Very nice. It's like I'm rich or something. <laughs> I don't want to bust your bubble or anything, sweetheart, but do you know how much the insurance on that monster is going to be? And it uses premium gas. How are you going to pay the doctor bills? Well, first off, I got to tell you, I'm not totally convinced about this whole heaven deal. What? I mean, we're told it's there, and when we die, we pray it's there. But as far as I can tell, no one's ever really been there and come back with a report on the validity of the claim. I, I see. So you are... I mean, for all we know, this whole heaven deal could be a marketing plan to sell books. 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 So, so you're saying that heaven is a marketing invention invented just to sell Bibles? Well, not saying it was and not saying it wasn't. I'm just saying, think about it. Do you know anybody who's been to heaven and come back with photos? No. So there you go. But to answer your original question. My original question, what? Will you go to heaven? So, so you think there is a heaven for a guy like me? Well, let me elaborate. First, if there is a place called heaven, then the people who go to it must have a balance between their yin and yang. Their yin? And yang. And yang. The two sides of life. The two energies of existence. Now, I see in your life an overabundance of yin. Am I yang? Yes, you need more yang. More yang? Exactly. You need to balance your existence. Learn to yang more and yin less. Yang more. And yin less. I think you got it. Have you ever investigated your past lives to evaluate your karma? No. Here's what I see in my eye of eye. If you purge your spirit of negative yin and reaffirm your positive yang toward your employees, okay. for example, giving everyone raises, then the resulting karma will illuminate a celestial pathway to the eternal city. Don't you think? What? Am I going to heaven? Are you out of your mind? You are kidding me, right? Excuse me? There is no way they're having heaven without you, big guy. Not only are you bound for paradise, you'll have a boulevard named after you. Uh, Come on, you're a shoe in for the golden roads when the big guy comes calling. Really? Oh, yeah, I mean, hey, I'm planning to drop your name myself at the pearly gate. Am I going to heaven? Please. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. Uh, no thanks needed, boss man. Just speaking the truth. Hey, I got a question for you. Okay. What would heaven be without you? Oh. Hell. That's right. Without you, heaven would be hell. Thank you again, Howard. And by the way, I, uh, I heard what you did for Jenkins. Mm. 91 Corolla. I drive a 91 Toyota Corolla. Marge, clear my calendar. Oh, um, who was that that came in a couple weeks ago asking for a donation, some kind of home for the poor? Habitat? Yeah, yeah, send them $500. 500 
Can I give you a ride? What about the Dixon deal? Plus $100 to the global warming thing and $100 to the Boy Scouts and, oh yeah, the Girl Scouts. I wonder if that's enough. What about the Dixon deal? I can give you a ride. What's gotten into him? Hey, sir. Want to buy some candy for the baseball team? Oh, sorry, no time. Well, now wait a minute. What team? The Panthers. Not the pretty Panthers of Plano, Go Cats Go. That's us, how'd you know? Well, my daughters used to play for the Panthers. They were much younger. Sir, do you know what you have here? Two boxes of unsold candy. Oh, they grow up so quick. Enjoy every minute of it. Life is too short. So you'll buy some candy? Sure, sure. Is, um, is this enough? I'll get your change. Oh no, just keep it. Thanks, sir. That was a good date. Felt kind of good. I'm a good guy. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Glad to help. So, when are you expecting the little one? Excuse me, the what? The baby. When is it due? I'm not pregnant. Whoops. I guess I can't count that one as a good deed. Here's what you do. If you'll put this money into a stock or a CD, add to it monthly. It's, it's called dollar cost averaging. In no time at all, you'll have a comfortable nest egg to retire on. Now, can I count on you to do that? Sure, mister. God bless you. to oblige. I'm a good deed doer, you know. Now for the one I should have done a long time ago. What is this for? We're going to the coast to repair houses hit by the hurricane. Oh, I gave to that already. I think. Is this a God thing? It's our spring break service project. Oh, so if I give, I get points to go to heaven? Uh, it couldn't hurt. I don't think it works like that, sir. How about a hundred? You see, sir, giving is good, but to get to heaven... Take your blood pressure, sir. Live healthy, live long. That's our motto at Tyler Street Health Services. Live long? No, you're too late. Had a colonoscopy? You look about the age. There's some things I will not miss. This month is turn your head and cough month. We're running a special. I'll keep my head where it is for now. Bible translators, not that again. Do we really need more Bibles? Well, you know, there's over 6,000 people groups in the world today without a translation in their own language. 6,000? Yeah. Like who? The Tater people of Idaho. Funny, you know, one of our students mentioned that this week. You know, the Tater people live in Asia. 
They're descendants from Genghis Khan. You know, if anybody needs the Bible. Genghis Khan? And you need money for this translation? Yeah. We support people called by God to translate the Bible. Called by God. That's right. And you, and you need money for this? We need money. We need people. We need prayers. Okay. Well, I need as many Bible brownie points as I can get today. Sir, we really appreciate that. But we're not about earning brownie points. God wants you, okay. not your money. Save it for somebody else. My marching orders have already been delivered. Sir, step right over here. You look like a man with a lot on your mind. What you need, we've got right here. You need a timeshare. I'm not interested. I'm That's looking. right, a timeshare for the time of your life. Take the kids to the beach, to the mountains. We've got timeshares all over the world. I'm going to die tomorrow. We're all going to die tomorrow, sir. Take a little time for yourself. Enjoy life. Life's too short not to enjoy it. Dead as in doornail. Go to Florida. Go to California. Go to Poughkeepsie, Walla Walla, Washington, or even to the shores of Borneo. We've got it all. I know a guy named Lucky I'd like you to meet. Lucky? Guy named Lucky? Does he need a timeshare? Because we've got timeshares. Any place he wants to go, we got it. Married? Divorced? Doesn't matter. We can get him in. It would be a good deed for me to have Lucky pay you a visit. Oh, Mr. Money. Have we met? Uh. Yes, sir, at, at Kelly's July 4th cookout. Wait a minute, you're Denver. <laughs> Excuse me? Your name is Denver. No, sir, I'm, I'm Austin. Exactly. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, this is where my daughter goes to school. Yeah. Do you know where she might be? Yeah, the girls' dorm, room 111. Yeah, you just drive right around. Okay, thanks. But they don't allow men. Oh, I'm not a man. I'm a father. <laughs> Okay, collect your thoughts, focus. Sir, you need to come with me. I'm not going anywhere. Sir, calm down and let's go back to the lobby and we can work this out. Not until I talk to my daughter. Do you know this man? I did. <sighs> Kelly. He's my dad. I'm very sorry, sir, but however... This is a girl's dorm dad, not co-ed. Okay, I get it. But maybe this can help make it a co-dad dorm? Sir, you need to go back to the common area. What are you doing here? I just wanted to talk. You mean command? Or bribe me like you tried with the guard? Not everyone thinks as much of the almighty dollar. Besides, I tried the talking part this morning. Touche, I deserved it. Not a big fan of mine right now, are you? Dad, why are you here? Remembering. Remembering? I want to tell you a story. I have a class in 30 minutes. I don't really have time for one of your stories. Okay, I'll make you a deal. 
I promise that this will be the last story I tell you. <laughs> As if. Cross my heart. Hope to die? Well, no, not really, but... The story begins 17 years ago, when we lived in that old frame house on Maple. You remember? With the tree house in the backyard? Mm -hmm. See, I didn't remember. Not until about an hour ago, when it all came flooding back to me. I remember coming home after a long, hard day at work. And before the key hit the door, I was greeted by this beautiful little girl who came running and screaming, Daddy! She jumped in my arms, she smothered me with kisses, and no matter what my day had been, my world was right. You remember that? Vaguely. Oh, I do. Okay. Fast forward, second grade. Mrs. Tuppy. Mrs. Tuppy. Mrs. Tuppy. I remember because all of the kids called her Guppy. Open house. On your desk was a story. You remember? My hero. My dad. I've made my living writing marketing strategies and guiding major accounts, but never before or since have four little words had such an impact. My hero. My dad. Dad. Hold on a minute. This is my last story, so let me finish. Fast forward five years, seventh grade, first date. <laughs> William Freely. <laughs> now him I remember, a zit with legs. Be nice. I... He was 13. I was no prize either. Oh, please. You were a treasure. Do you remember our talk after your date? I remember the Freelies dropped me off at the door. 10 p.m., right on time. You came in, and I was waiting up, and I asked you, I said, so how was your first kiss? And you said... Wouldn't know. And then I said, so, no first kiss? <laughs> and then you said, I'm not going to waste it on the wrong one. And then I said, how do you know he's the wrong one? Because he's not like you. Like me? Why like me? Because you love me. Because I'm me. I did. I, I, I do. But somewhere between the seventh grade and this morning, I found the world's version of success. We moved out of that little house on Maple and into our dream home. And I made a lot of money, put you through the finest schools, and, and gave you everything. But I took away the one thing you really needed, my time. Somehow I forgot how to show my love to that beautiful little girl in pigtails who, <laughs> who danced ballet and played shortstop for the pretty Panthers of Plano. Go, cats, go. go. Dad. Ellie, I came by to apologize for this morning. Now, I realize that while you'll always be my little girl, I can't mold my desires into your life. Now, I'll be honest. Bible translation was not on my radar for your life, but... If that's what you want to do. Called to do. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. But if you translate, you'd be the best translator there is. Thanks, Dad. You and Denver come by the house tonight for dinner. Austin. His name is okay. Austin. Okay. Whatever. Just... Just be there tonight. Kelly, my girl, I love you. I love you too, Dad.
Daddy, you're still my hero. Oh, no. You're mine. What in the world is that? That is a 1978 Volkswagen microbus. Some would call it a classic. Should I have it towed? No, no, it's, uh, it's mine. <laughs> I, I kind of traded with a friend. What, at gunpoint? No, no. Is, uh, is Vanessa home? Yes, yeah, she's in the house. Do me a favor, Martha. Call Charlie and set up a time to, uh, well, to clean and service my new car. Yes, sir. Wouldn't you just rather have it burned? tell you I was simply mortified. Penny, let me call you back. Uh, John's home. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, hey, honey, you're home early. What's up? It's just a, you know, crazy day. We could swap tales on the craziness of this day. Remember that hair appointment I had this morning? Well, I show up and Jennifer called in sick. Oh, who knows what she has. So Joanne says she'll cut my hair. Joanne cut my hair? Oh, please, the last time I let Joanne near my hair, I had to wear a hat for three weeks. John, are you listening to me? No. Do we have a Bible? Well, sure we do somewhere. I don't know. Well, anyway, so I decided to take Mitzi to be groomed at the Paw and Poodle, and I get there, and they have no appointments until 5 p.m. So I say, hey, can you keep her overnight? And they say, sure, but we need her shot records. So I fly home to get the records, realizing that I'm supposed to take Mandy to dance class, which I do, only to find out that it's been canceled because Mrs. Peabody's sister is having bariatric surgery. Oh, bless her heart. She has been needing that surgery for so long. So I take Mandy over to Morgan so they can study, and here I am back at the house so I can find a speaker for tonight's PTA meeting. Is that crazy enough for you? Where's Mandy? She has a Bible. I just told you, she's at Morgan's. Oh, yeah. Do you ever think about dying? Excuse me? Death. Do you ever think about it? No. But what about heaven? We believe in heaven, don't we? John, what are you... Oh, come on, we must. We believe in God. We go to church. That's a God thing. We give to charities. That's a God deal. And heaven is God place, so it just makes sense that we would believe in heaven, right? Okay. And since we've been good, at least I've been good lately, we would go to heaven, right? When we die? Well, one would hope. Hope? All you have is... We need more than that. Some things you just have to know. John, you're scaring me here. What is this all about? I thought you were going to get your hair cut. And so you know I love you, right? And I love you. Are you sure you're okay, John? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pop, what's up? Oh, hey, sweetie. How was dance class? It was canceled. I've been at Morgan's working on a biology project. Hi, Mr. Money. Hello, Morgan. What are you doing sitting out here all by yourself? Yeah, Dad, you're never home this early, and I've never seen you on this bench. Just having a little me time, or just doing a little thinking. About? Oh, just stuff, you know, stuff. Did you know there's seven goldfish in here? 
Uh, yeah, Kelly built that as a summer project like five years ago. Right, right. Um, Mandy, you know I love you, don't you? Sure, and I love you too. Dad, are you all right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's top of the world. And you? Good. So, uh, you believe in heaven? Uh, sure. How do you know? Well, I think believing in heaven comes from knowing God. He loves you, you love him back, and you believe in his heaven. So it's a feeling? No, feelings can be wrong. This is something you know deep down. It's called faith, Dad. Okay, so if there's if there's a heaven made by God, who's a good guy, you got to believe that it's full of good people, because good people are the ones who believe in the good guy, right? Sure. And I've been a pretty good dad for you and Kelly, so it would just make sense that I would end up there. I mean, when I die. I guess. <laughs> you guess? All you have is I guess. How about a yes? I would love to hear a yes. Mr. Money, Ms. Tomlinson says that just being good won't get you into heaven. Okay, go on. Right, Dad. Mrs. Tomlinson says you must accept Christ as Savior to be guaranteed salvation. That's what you want, salvation. Heaven is just a bonus. Well, that's a pretty good bonus. <laughs> well, Ms. Tomlinson says that it's all about grace. You accept Christ, and the Father's grace brings you into the family. Grace? That's no problem. We say grace before uh, Sunday dinner. Well, usually. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm kidding, but let's hit the high points. My parents, their parents, and probably, well, every, every money ever went to the same church, so I'd say this Christian thing's not a problem. It runs a little deeper than that, Pop. Yeah, Mr. Money. Ms. Tomlinson says that you can't get by on just the good name of your ancestors. She says it's the one walk you walk alone. Right, Dad. She says only those who have personally asked Jesus into their hearts will have life abundant and everlasting. So, ask Jesus into, into their hearts. Okay. But who is this Mrs. Tomlinson? Our Sunday school teacher. Oh, well, I guess she would know, huh? She would, but as she's always told us, you should go to the source. A Bible. I knew we had one of those somewhere. Mr. Money, it's not about who you are. It's about whose you are. Here it is. Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. How simple is that? Well, I'm a piece of cake, yeah. A lot harder than it sounds. Dad, money, power, and being good are all fine. But heaven is for those who love God and believe in him. Get it? Yeah, got it. Good. Then he's in your heart. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. And you'll be a resident of heaven when you die. And that'll be a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you bet, you bet. Well, uh, we need to get to work on our project. You coming in? No, I've got a, a little bit to take care of. Okay. Mandy, I love you. I love you more. See you later. Bye, Mr. Money. Knows and this makes it a mystery. If life is a comedy, then why all the tragedy? Three and a half pounds of brain tried to figure out what this world is all about. And is there an eternity? Is there an eternity? God, if you're there, I wish you'd show me. And God, if you care, then I need you to know me. I hope you don't mind me asking the questions, but I figure you're big enough. I figure you're big enough. Can you give your hand? I uh, no. didn't mean to startle you. Uh, you need some help? No, no, everything's fine. Thanks. Uh, really? I was just trying to go inside. You know, it's, it's funny. 
hope we have all night bowling, but we lock yeah. up the churches. Kind of says something about us, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Did you try? I, it's, it's open. Maybe it was just stuck. Yeah. You know, you're right. Uh, God's house ought to always be open. You never know when a fellow might need to have a talk with the Lord. Yeah, you never know. It's okay. Uh, go on in. He's home. Lying on pillows, we're haunted and half awake. Does anyone hear us pray? If I die before my way, then the morning comes and the mirror's another place where we wrestle face to face with the image of deity. The image of deity. God, if you're there, I wish you'd show me. God, if you care, then I need you to know me. I hope you don't mind me asking the questions. Oh, this is stupid. What am I doing here? Is it for you? Is it for me? Is it for now? Is it forever? It's not like I can do 12 good deeds and make up for 47 rotten years. Okay, so what happens now? Do I say, hi, Jesus, and you say, hello, John, and poof, we'd all live happily ever after? I didn't think so. Everything okay? I'm sorry. Uh, my timing's a bit off tonight. Uh, I didn't mean to spook you. You're all right. I'm okay. No, I'm not. I am definitely not okay. Something I can do to help? No, it's too late. It's only 6.30. No, I mean it's too late for me. I've lived my life. I've taken my chances. And here I am with no more chances. You know, I may not know a lot, but one thing I do know is that you're standing in the headquarters of one more chance. Not for me. Do you want to talk about it? Do I know you? You never know. Folks around here call me Guy. Well, hello, Guy. And you're going to be the first person I say goodbye to. You're looking at a dead man, a corpse in a suit. If I were you, I would save your story for somebody who still believes in chances. Yeah, I wouldn't waste my words on somebody with no hope. Good. Then I bid you adieu. So now you're the one who gets to decide when there's no hope? Guy, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I know where this is headed. You know, my family's been a member of this church for generations. I've sat in that pew with my family every Sunday for as long as I can remember. Before that, my parents sat there, and their parents before them. I've come through that door, and I've heard sermons from that pulpit hundreds of times. And what good has it done? But did you listen to any of them? Oh, come on, don't even. It's too late. I've spent this whole day trying to figure this out. I surrender. I give up. Given up on who? God? You? Both. It's a good thing you're not God. You know, God would never give up on you. There's not enough time left for me to do enough good deeds to make up for all the rotten things I've done in my life. No one can make up for a wasted life in one night. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. God's not interested in good deeds. <laughs> so you're trying to tell me that God's just going to swoop down here pat me on the head, perform some great miracle, and poof, all is forgiven, everything is fine, forget it. It's the great miracle. Really? We freed you from all those years of bad decisions. 
You tell a real good story, guy. And if I had a little more time. You do. I wish. Quit trying to earn heaven. You're frustrated because you can't do it. It's impossible to do. See that window over there? That's the night he paid a big, big price to earn heaven for you. And that one over there of him knocking on the door, that's him trying to get you to let him in, to give you the free gift. John, accept it. Accept what God gives you. No strings, no catch. It's not about deeds. It's about grace. That's what Morgan said. Now Morgan knows God. Yeah, she was. She knows that we're saved by grace through faith. I've heard this all before. You've heard the words, but did you really listen? Did you believe them? You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've done. You don't need to. That's why they call it grace. It's, it's free. It's for anyone, for everyone. Even for me. Especially for you, John. But you make it sound so easy. It is simple. It's like opening a door. Remember that scripture? That if you'll confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. That's what Mandy said. Mandy knows God. John, now it's your turn. Well, come on. Confess believe. It can't be that simple. No man makes it hard. Just open the door. I think it's time for you and him to have a heart to heart. Well, you got questions and he's got answers. Ask away. He's big enough to handle anything you can ask. said it was simple, Guy said it was simple, and it was. What do I do now? Man, I only have a few hours left. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You okay, John? Okay. No, I'm not okay. I'm fantastic. And Guy, it's all because of you. Oh, oh, oh not me. I I'm just the messenger. Reminded you of something you already knew. Where have I been all my life? Why did it take so long? Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and explain this to some very special people. And there you are. John Money, you are one tough cookie to figure out. I have been to your office, your accountant's office, your lawyer's office, the country club. I even went by the donut shop looking for you. I would never thought of looking for you here. This is amazing, one for the books. Thank you for the input. John A. Money in a church on a Monday? Hold on a minute. What are you doing here? I said I'd be back. 9.48 tomorrow morning, not 7.04 tonight. 
I know what I said. <laughs> evening, Lucky. Well, good evening, guy. How you been? Never better. You... He saw you. For a minute there, I thought you were here for me <laughs> early. So it's, it's guy's time, huh? Does, does he know? No. Just don't worry. If anybody was ever ready for you, it's him. John, it's not guy's time. We don't get one. We? What do you mean, we? Like he and me. He and me. So you're saying that he is a... An angel. Guardian variety. Very well respected. Been doing this a long time. Knows his stuff. Matter of fact, he's your guardian angel, John. My guardian angel? Been with you since day one. 47 years? Why have I never seen him before? Oh, you've seen him. Him? No, 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 no. Him I would remember. John, you remember last year, right outside of Fort Worth, the car accident? Uh-huh. Just before the car burst into flames, someone came along, drug you and Vanessa to safety. Guy? That was Guy. No, 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 no. That was a much younger person. It, it was, he was Hispanic. John, you don't get it. We're not held to the same rules as you are. If I were your mother... Hi, sir. Want to buy some candy? For the baseball team? Hey, mister, got a minute? We're going to the coast. To repair houses. Hit by the hurricane. Live healthy. Live long. Sure, mister. God bless you. God wants you, not your money. Kind of cool, huh? Don't do that anymore. Oh, well, I mean, after all, John, it's in the book. You never know when you're in the presence of angels. You know, I do remember that when we were clear of the accident, I looked for him to say thank you, but he was gone. I never did get a chance to say thanks. I think you just did. But, John, your thanks don't go to God. They go only to the top. Okay, now, now wait a minute. If that's the case, then this isn't fair. I finally have a handle on forever and you're early. You said I had a day. You're an angel. I took you at your word. When you tell me I have a day, that means 24 hours. I don't know who winds your clock, but mine says I still have a few ticks left. I mean, come on. I knelt at the foot of that cross and found out that I have forgiveness and I'm guaranteed eternal joy. I mean, I finally get it. That's nice. I just need these last few hours to spend some time with my family. Lord, please. Are you done? No. You said I had a day. I planned for a day. I want my day. Tomorrow means tomorrow. Look, John, I know what, what about I... Vanessa? What about Kelly and that Denver kid? John, sometimes... And Mandy. What about Mandy? This isn't right. I can't go now. I need these last few hours to spend with my family to let them know I'll be waiting for them, that we can spend eternity together. Time out. Stop. Cease. Desist. You've got your time. Thank you. That's all I ask. Now, if you'll just let me go, I will be here in the morning. <laughs> Mooney. What? Mooney, Mooney, Mooney. My pickup, a 97-year-old guy, a couple blocks over from you, packed, ready to go. Nice guy. So you mean? Not your time. You know, somehow or another, the records got smudged. Mooney, a little like money, but same zip code. I don't know, call it an oops. An oops? Yeah, we call it an oops. No, I call it a miracle. Okay. Because of your oops, I have finally found my way home. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's not about religion. It's not about doing good deeds. It's not about just going to church. It's not about any of those things. It's about a relationship with God. There you go. That's why people do good deeds, because they love God. Why do I tell Vanessa and the girls and at the office? <laughs> Boy, are they in for a surprise. I think so. I make Ricky the new marketing manager. Not bad. And I'm going to buy my own Bible. That's a good call. And I'm going to read it. And you know what, Lucky? It's all because of you. Hey, you know, anytime I can make a mistake and help out, I'm here for you, John. No, you know God doesn't make a mistake. You know what, John? You may be onto something with that. Oh, you won't 
shake my hand. Hey, 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 I am the angel of death. What's with the love in here? Don't make me do this. Uh, okay. <sighs> Don't hold your fire, but you saved my life. All right, well, you, hey, hey, there was no life saving here. I did not save your life, never. I did not save nothing, all right? Now, and maybe I helped, but that's it. That's the best I got. Now, look, I got to go, okay. all right? I got pickups. Sure. I got things to do. I need to fly, but I'll see you later. Okay, no hurry, really. Don't have to hurry, but... Hey, truffles. Very nice. Mm -hmm. None of us knows, and this makes it. God, where have you been? We have been looking Fly everywhere for you. God, Dad, we were worried about you. You scared us to death. Are you all right, Mr. Money? No, I'm not all right, Austin. I'm fantastic. You are not going to believe the day I had today. But this world is all about and is there an eternity? Is there an eternity? God, if you're there, I wish you'd show me. And God, if you care, then I need you to know. What happened to our car? I hope you don't mind me asking the questions, but I figure you're big enough. I figure you're big enough. Lying on pillows, we're haunted and half awake. Does anyone hear us pray? If I die before I wake, then the morning comes and the mirror's another place where we wrestle face to face with the image of deity. The image of deity. God, if you're there, I wish you'd show me. God, if you care, then I need you to know me. I hope you don't mind me asking the questions, but I figure you're big enough. I figure you're big enough. And I imagine the size of the universe, and I wonder what's out past the edges. And I discover inside me space is big, and that I'm meant to be filled up with more than just questions. So God, if you're there, I wish you'd show me. And God, if you care, then I need you to know me. I hope you don't mind me asking the questions, but I 